Thank you, Rudy. I've taken a, uh, another uh, position as chair of IGBP, and uh, so now I know what Rudy does as chair of uh, CSDMS. Uh, protects, loves, enriches. So I guess that's my job with IGBP. So systems, uh, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, someone that uh, who's done a lot of modeling in his career, and, and I hired one of his postdocs uh, within CSDMS, and it's our Vice Chancellor for Research, Stein Stewart, who will tell you a little bit about CU and CU's views on this kind of research. Stein? Thank you, James. On behalf of the university, I'm delighted to welcome all of you to Boulder. It's a fine time of the year. We're sort of about to descend into winter from a beautiful fall. I'm also pleased to say that the university is proud to host the CSDMS integration facility. And uh, James has for a great many years kept me sort of up to date as to what the importance of this is to the larger community and the university in particular. Your work is of great importance to us, the nation and the global community. You are indeed doing global modeling on a real global scale. One of the few integrated ways of doing so in a total surface by dealing with the, call it the air, water, and the solids of the earth. The university is also very pleased to support CSDMS community of science users through two of our largest supercomputers, Beach and Janus. Beach has been in activity now for a couple of years. Our large new supercomputer Janus just came online about half a year ago and already it is seeing large-scale simulation and modeling of the kind that all of you are engaged in. Analysis and simulation of highly coupled natural and man-made processes remain a challenge in spite of our capacity for computing and rapidly increasing knowledge of how nature works. Boundary conditions, properties, materials, gases, liquids, and whatnot remains a challenge and will always be there, but at some point we'll have a good sense of what we can all do and forecast and tell us really what the status of the earth globally and locally is. CSDMS and related activities are a high priority to our university and they're being supported by <coughs> initiatives that we have in the way in interdisciplinary computational science and engineering in our new geosciences building complex and in our renewable and sustainable energy institute and environmental and earth system science where we engage with a number of external constituencies including Conical Phillips who will set up shop right down the road in terms of large scale research and education, touching on issues like carbon management, for example, and many of the topics that you will be talking about here. Sustainable energy is also much on their mind. CSDMS activities are also closely aligned with efforts in local federal labs, as you know, US Geological Survey, NCAR, UCAR, in whose facilities we are here right now, the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, and NOAA. Now, in conclusion, the university wishes CSDMS and its participants, you, all the best, and we're eagerly looking forward to the great strides that we know that you will be making, and the world is waiting for you. Thank you.